In this video I am going to show you how you can easily save document from WhatsApp to your iPhone. Be sure to watch the video to the very end so you don't make any mistakes. Let's get started guys and the first off we need to open up WhatsApp app and then tap right here to head over to chats. Now guys, the first thing we need to do is to find a document that someone sent to us or maybe we send the document to someone and now we want to download it to our iPhone. To do that, first off, we need to enter a conversation with our document. Here I got some files in this conversation and uh, now I'm gonna show you two different ways how we can find a document we are looking for. The first way is just by scrolling up or down until you find the document. And then you need just to tap on it. Here I got some uh, PDF file. And now to save it to our iPhone, we need to tap right here at share button. But first off, let me show you another way how we can easily find a document. To do that, we need to tap right here at the very top, at conversation name, and here we'll find media, links and docs. That's where we can easily find all media, links and documents from that conversation, sorted by content type. Now we can filter all photos and videos in here in media tab. Also, at links, it will show us all the links from this document, from this conversation. And also, at docs, we can find all the PDF or Word documents. Here, I got a PDF document and I can write from here, tap on it. That will open it up. And now, to save it to my iPhone internal storage, I need to tap right here at share. Then scroll down a bit. Select Save to Files. Then we need to choose destination. Oh, sorry. We need to choose destination folder for our document. We can save it to our iCloud Drive or to our iPhone's internal storage. I'm gonna select on my iPhone, and then I'm gonna uh, create new folder. Why not? To create new folder, top right here, select new folder, then we can name it WhatsApp, hit done. And then to paste the document uh, we have selected, all we have to do is just hit add save. In the same way, we can save any media file. Let's say that one, we can open it up, then we can hit add share. And then from here, if we would like to save it to our camera roll, we need to hit right here at save. Or if we would like to save it to our iPhone's internal storage or to the iCloud drive, we can hit share. And then in the same way, we can select save to files. Then I'm going to save it to the same exact folder by hitting add save. Then if we go to photos, here we can find the document we have saved. And uh, to find save document on your iPhone internal storage, we need to open up files app. It is pre-installed application on any iPhone by default. However, if you do not have this app on your iPhone, head over to the App Store and then download the app with the icon that looks like that. It allows us to manage files on, the, on our devices and then we need just to head over to the same folder. Uh, if you remember, I've saved my file on my iPhone to the folder which is called WhatsApp. Here we got two files, an image and a PDF file. Basically guys, that's it. So if this video was helpful for you, don't forget to hit the like button.